Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my Week 11 previews and analysis. This video is for the game between the Seattle Seahawks uh, and the Minnesota Vikings, and it'll take place out in Seattle. Uh, both these teams obviously headed in two completely different directions. Uh, Seattle comes in with a record of 8-1, and one, while on the flip side, Minnesota, off a win last week, last Thursday versus Washington at home, comes in with a record of 2-7. and seven. And, you know, for the Vikings, you know, obviously a big di difference between playing that Washington defense at home and now Seattle, that Seattle defense on the road. And um, for them to have any shot in this game, you know, Adrian Peterson's going to have to have a superhuman performance. And uh, quite honestly, uh, I think Seattle is going to game plan pretty much only for Adrian P Peterson, as every team probably should right now, whether it's Christian Ponder or whether it's Josh Freeman because of Ponder's uh, shoulder issue. Um, I think you know both of them are going to have a tough time here out in Seattle. Um, certainly, uh, inconsistency at that position, I think, it has really hurt them this year as teams zero in on Adrian Peterson, who is coming off of one of his best games of the season last week versus the Redskins. Uh, but I worry about that Minnesota defense as well in this game. You look, they let up last week. RG3 had his best game of the year with 287 and three touchdowns. Alfred Morris ran for 125 yards. You know, I just worry about now that Seahawks um, offensive line, which had come under a lot of scrutiny before the last couple weeks, and rightfully so. But you've seen Marshawn Lynch go for 125 and 140 uh, in the last two weeks. You've seen some of those fill-in pieces playing better as they get the healthy starters back as sort of a reinforcement. Um, I know Percy Harvin is coming back as well this week to face his former team in the Seahawks debut. Uh, I don't expect him to have too big of a role this week, but if he does, that's sort of icing on the cake for the Seattle team, which is seeing Golden Tate um, have more of a role here in the last couple weeks, giving Russell Wilson more time to throw. Uh, this offense has really, I think, grown in the last couple weeks, and I think they're hitting their stride at the right time heading down the stretch. Again, as they get the healthier guys back, on the offensive line. And look, that defense, um, expect them uh, to just simply dominate the Vikings in this one. There's nothing that indicates to me that the Viking receivers will be able to do anything or create any separation uh, from this talented secondary of Seattle. And I think you're going to see a lot of eight, maybe even nine man boxes to really curtail uh, Adrian Peterson in this one. And I think Seattle, they struggled a couple games at home here uh, recently. Most notably that game that they barely squeaked out against Tampa Bay a couple weeks back. I think they want to get home. They want to put on a good performance for their fans. And again, I think that offense is getting better every week. That's something to monitor here down the stretch. I think teams had their chance to take out the Seahawks when that offense and that offensive line wasn't hitting their stride. But I think that time has sort of run out, especially when the Seahawks are at home uh, against a team uh, like Minnesota. I know Minnesota had a lot of time to prepare. But when it th there's this big of a talent gap, I don't think it matters. I like Seattle minus 13 and a half in this game. Guys, let me know what you think. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter at S News Analysis. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I preview and recap every game every week. And I'm always talking the news of the day in the NFL. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks for listening. Have a great night.